and we're showing patients how this works and letting them actually test drive the robot and pretend that they're operating. They're working on something that the surgeons, when we're going through the training, this is actually what we do and the first tools that we use to practice. It takes a little bit of, of practice, to be honest. Um, and actually, this robot here, they're only using three arms, but there is a fourth arm you can actually use. So it essentially doubles the number of arms that I get to use as a surgeon. Um, it takes probably about 20 to 30 hours of training before a surgeon's allowed to work with a pa on a patient itself, themselves. And when we do it for the first couple of times, we have a, a proctor, someone who's done at least 25 different operations in the field of uh, our expertise before doing it. The motions and the controls are pretty natural. It's like exa it you're, it's exactly mimics what your hands and your wrists would do as if you're opening and closing your hands and using your wrists.